What's going on guys, Dan Cal here from Liquidation Pros. And in this video series, I'm going to be unboxing some Amazon liquidation inventory that I received from five Amazon liquidation pallets. So what I have here is about a pallet and a half of inventory that I've brought down. I'm going to go through box by box and take a look at what we have. Um, the way it worked out as far as the numbers go is I paid a, just below $5,000 for all five pallets. So right around $1,000 a piece. It was actually $980 and that included freight shipping to the warehouse. From there, we uh, received the inventory and I'm bringing it here to my home basement to process it and pull out what's good to be resold, what needs to go to the flea market and you know basically how I go through the whole process of selling everything and, and making profit on it. So the way it worked out, $980 per pallet on average, it's around $10,000 retail value, somewhere as high as 14, uh, somewhere as low as like 9,200. So on average, 10 to 12,000 in retail value per pallet. And the way that works out is if you break it down per box, it's about $80 I pay per box. It's about 12 boxes on average per pallet. So you'd have to do the math. So pretty good potential. It could be 500 to $1,000 in each box. But once again, this is as is Amazon returns. We don't know if the item's new, broken. Sometimes people will swap out an item and send something different back as far as the return goes. So you have all kinds of different options as far as the condition goes. The ultimate goal is to unbox everything. And like I said, get it sold and actually make profit uh, the reason i do these videos for one it's fun and i know a lot of people enjoy seeing what you can get in these amazon mystery boxes so i do actually have a manifest which is an entire list of everything i bought within the five pallets but since everything came in in one truckload it's not really organized well enough to figure out what's going to be in each box so i have an idea of what's in each pallet but i have the whole entire list tell me what's included so the good thing is it makes it a little bit easier to find the items so as we go if i see an item that i think it might be pretty valuable I will go ahead on eBay and see what the item is selling for uh, eBay or Amazon and just kind of get a, a price quote and I also will give an idea of what I paid for the item so I paid on average right around 10% so a hundred dollar item I paid ten dollars for so that's the way it works out I'm gonna be opening a bunch of these so if you like this type of content make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I post the next one in this video, we, we may get through two, we may only get through one. It just depends on how many items there are. And we'll just have fun going through and looking and seeing what kind of money we can make. All right, so here we go. This is actually an empty box I need to move still. That's from the last video. But we're gonna work our way, still working on these. Oh man, this one's really heavy. These boxes over here, the reason I'm not doing the big can you guys see the big, um, they call them Amazon coffin boxes. Normally you can get, they they take up two side by side, take up a full row, full space of a pallet. So they're about a little bit smaller than two of these boxes because they're not as deep. But um, as you can see, it's sitting on top there. I'm not opening these yet because they're working really nice for giving me a nice space to put my boxes on. So I don't have to reach down as far. So I got the computer set up. Rolling. This one's really heavy. There's gonna be something pretty, pretty substantially heavy in here. We may do one box. We may do two. It depends on how many big items are in here. Uh, this to me looks like a box full of big items. So this box should go pretty quick. Cause right off the bat, I see two big things. Oh, this is great. Oh yeah. So remember, guys, these boxes on average. Now, granted, I'm buying an entire pallet of them, and the entire pallet just cost me around a thousand dollars. When I break it down, each box is around 80 to $100. These are gonna bigger boxes are a little bit more. But right off the bat, there are two of these Alpine Stars racing boots. I've gotten a set of these before and I've already sold a set for $325 plus shipping. So the customer paid $375 for a pair of these. Just to give you guys an idea, I have two pair. They're normally different colors, different sizes. You're gonna to have to wait for the right buyer and someone who's really into uh, motor racing, motorbiking, motor, Motocross, check those out though. Now, it's a good chance that they did not fit the customer because they're not dirty. They've never been worn, they're brand new. They have been unbuckled, so I will need to check the buckles. This side hasn't even had the plastic taken off of it. Can you guys see that all right? So you can't quite see that on the table, but this one's still wrapped up with the tag. These go anywhere from 350 to, I mean, I've seen some as high as 700. It depends on what, what year they were made, like what um what model they are. The newer, the more expensive. 
and they go by it's like tech seven tech five tech three tech nine is what i've been seeing when i'm doing a little bit of research on these this is a tech seven so i think these are a little bit more valuable and the retail value on these is four hundred dollars four hundred dollars for one pair of these boots check them out on the screen here 399 to 479 depending on what size you got i have size 10 which is a really good size and we're looking at 400 bucks is what the what the going rate on amazon is um not going to open up the other box they're probably going to be similar they're a little bit bigger size because i do want to get through this box and start another one oh that's cool check that out 24 hours of le mans speed and endurance electric race slot car set i mean it looks brand new hard to say without opening it it does have non-factory tape on it that's why i cut that there because it's not the factory seal i mean i'm kind of leaving my camera so you guys can see what i'm pulling out standing up electric slot race set i mean the cars are still strapped down what do you guys think in the retail value on something like this is my guess is i'm gonna guess 150. i have not looked this up i do not remember off the top of my head I have no clue. So hopefully it's more than that. Um, let's see. 130. I was close. 129.99. Only two ratings though. But that doesn't mean it won't sell. What we need to do really, I wouldn't sell an item like that on Amazon. I typically all this liquidation stuff, um, just for the safety of my Amazon account, I put all this stuff on eBay or like Facebook Marketplace for local pickup. I just started um, applied some items for shipping. I'm still waiting to get Amazon or Facebook to approve me to do shipping as well. So these are actually look like they're selling better on eBay than they are on Amazon based on the, the sales rank, but quite a few people selling them, but you know, 19 have sold in the past year. Not bad. That should sell around the holidays. Brand new. A couple more of these light sets. I've gotten these before. These go anywhere for like 20 to 30 bucks. On average, I'm just saying 25 bucks a piece for those. Filter, 10 bucks. You guys have seen, if you, you watch the channel, you've seen kind of the routine for that stuff. I've been mostly flying through that stuff. This, I think, just based on feeling it, I thought it was a license plate cover. And then when I read it, it says Ram, Ram Chrome Black. So it's probably a Dodge Ram. Yep, there you go. These go for around 20 bucks. That one's new. Seahorse protective equipment case. So this is just like a little mini, um, probably like a pistol case. You could, I mean, you could store anything in there, waterproof, watertight cases. This brand, it depends on the size, but they go anywhere from like 60 to, I mean, anywhere up to like four or $500, depending on how big they are. This one in particular is gonna be um 32 bucks yeah this is the small one pretty cool case though we have orange so hey 33 bucks we got two more items in this box guys like i said this was a big up a, what i call like a large or bigs or medium size items this was so heavy this is the second one of these i've got uh, i think a lot of these the box gets beat up because it's not this is not a thick enough corrugated box for the item that's inside. These are solid steel tools for like doing body repair work. They weigh so much money, I mean, they weigh so much that you gotta have it better protected, a heavier duty box. They should even be in like a, like a hard case, kind of like this type of case, but that's made for this specific tool set. So hopefully that company gets their act together. Otherwise I'm gonna keep getting their liquidation products. And that's gonna be 1075. We are looking at, um, did this one, 26 bucks? So 26 bucks, not worth selling online because of the weight and shipping, the size would probably be a flea market, you know, 10 bucks, maybe uh, 20 bucks on marketplace, 10 bucks the flea market. This item is pretty heavy too. This item here, pontoon enclosure. So this is like the front half of your pontoon boat. It's like a tent for it. So pretty heavy. Um, I don't know, at least a hundred bucks. These things are not cheap, I know that. 
Um, 200 bucks, it looks like. Now, <laughs> the only one active, the only person on active is trying to sell for 518. That ain't gonna happen, but we can check eBay and see if there any have sold on eBay. Um, my supplier had put a value of it of 200. There's one sold for 198 and that's it. So, I mean, that's a good item. That would be worth listing, even though it's heavy. Uh, probably just ship that UPS ground. Maybe this box is pretty beat up, so wrap it in another box. I'll need to take it out and look at it, but at that at that value, it would be worth it. All right, this one's heavy too, guys. Jeez, this box probably weighs 60 pounds, if not 70. All right, Ooh, now that I pulled my back out. Check out another one, man. I don't know what's going on with these dang filters. Got a couple more filters. Uh, about 10 bucks a piece on those. <clears throat> so two more there. Move right through them real quick. Oh, check this out. It's like a brand new pile. Uh, this is not an amplifier. What is this? Or maybe it is an amplifier because I've already got a, um, a mixer. So this is the amplifier. Probably 50 to 75 bucks right there for a power amplifier. Simpson race shoes. So these are like race car driver shoes. Simpson, pretty good brand. Got a you know a good following for this brand. I'm gonna say probably 50 bucks on those. I'm not gonna bother looking them up right now because I don't have the UPC code handy and I don't feel like manually typing it in. I think I can make an estimated guess of 50 on that one. So we got Bushnell Power View. These are binoculars. And they are in there, I can feel the weight of them. I guess for a lot of this stuff, guys, this supplier I'm working with is already doing, they're doing a quick check of the item just to make sure it's at least there and not completely like obviously damaged. So typically you pay a premium for that, but I've lucked out to where because of the amount of inventory I'm taking, it's, I'm just not paying that that premium of like closer to 20%. I'm still getting these products for around 10%, which is amazing for the type of inventory I'm getting. Like this is kind of like a, so I've been in this business since, really I started in 2014. I started the business though in 2016 and I've never had as good of inventory since compared to this stuff that I'm getting now. So really it's that that premium, that good inventory. Like I said, the seller is doing a good job of kind of doing a quick check of the item to at least make sure it's in there. And a lot of people that deal with Amazon returns, you have like the bait and switch problem or uh, the problem of the item just being completely destroyed. I'm not really seeing that with this stuff, which is like a huge, um, a huge benefit towards me. So I'm really happy with this product. So these Bushnells on eBay are around Let's see. So there's one person selling for 100, and the other person selling for 80. And on Amazon, they are $75. So really good item there. That's an easy seller, easy to ship. Here's another license plate, Universal. I mean, that's probably a dollar to it to flea market, nothing crazy. Upper receiver block. So this is like a gun part, I think. AR-10 upper receiver block, interesting. I'm not sure if I'll even be able to sell this online, what the rules are for, I know there's you know, certain parts you can and can't sell, like the lower, I'm pretty sure you can't. I think the uppers you can. Somebody will probably correct me down in the description. This is, according to my list, about a 40, $45 item, yep. Good reviews, five stars. Um, I've got a few of products from this brand, NC Star, and they've had good reviews so that's a 45 hour item i mean assuming that i can sell it on ebay that's definitely worth listing let's go ahead and just double check and at this point in my business i'm really looking for items that are like 30 bucks or more i'm really trying to move up my average sale price my uh, asp and this this type of inventory is going to help with that so yep now there aren't any active 
So once again, I'm gonna add this to a pile. I have a pile of items I need to research. I do have certain things where I just wanna double check before they get listed. Um, here's two squeegees, brand new. These go for around 20 bucks, so not too bad. They actually attach to, you can use it with your hand or you can attach it to a pole. So they're, I already looked those up. They're $20 each. And one of these trays, I've put these in a flea market. I've already had two. Um, you guys are probably wondering, you're, you know, you're seeing a lot of the same stuff. Well, that's because these pallets all came at the same time. Um, they're going to have a lot of similar items. They could have like, there could be a mixture of 20 of these mixed between not just these boxes, but there are literally um, six more pallets at, at the warehouse of this type of stuff. So when I bought that load, it could have a lot of from the same thing, but just in different boxes. For instance, one of these cargo hitch steps. This is the second one I've got of these. These are around 25 bucks. Um, I might start selling a few of these on Marketplace because I have a bunch of them. So I need to do that. This looked, initially looked like a, um, one of those, a fishing rod mount for like deep sea fishing, but it's definitely not that. It is a Senna Evo Helmet Shield. So it is a, um, I guess a motorcycle shield. Just curious real quick what this is worth, guys. We are looking at uh, 44 bucks for that. 35 now, 35.95, not bad. So that's lightweight too, that would be first class. Uh, this is a fuel pump by Dietz, Dietzworks. It's a German company. Uh, it's a fuel pump. I don't know the model. I looked these up before, they're about 95 bucks. Here's a PAL rear view backup camera. So for your backup camera, I'm gonna guess 20 bucks on that. And that's being, could be probably a little bit more. Some sort of swimming. This is, I think, a one-piece swimming suit. These go for around 30 bucks for that brand. I've seen it before. Here's another ammo case. 10 bucks on that one. I've had a few of those. I'm trying to move through these quick to keep these videos not too long and try to get to some of the big stuff. Here we go. Oh, don't break the computer. I already knocked the camera over. Let's not break the computer. Oh, center, center, um... Hubcap, center caps for forward parts. Some of these can get pricey. I don't have the UPC. I can't scan it right now. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna estimate 20 bucks a piece on those. Oh, hold on a second. So someone bought all four. Now we do have to look up. We have a four pack of these. Let's see what we got here. Okay, here we go. Found I had the wrong letters in there. So I was close. They're selling for about 20, I mean, average price is 30. I'm gonna say 30 bucks a piece. I'll, I'll bump it up, I have four of them. So that's 120 bucks right there, guys. This this one little group of items paid for everything I pulled out of this, this second box. So not too bad. Uh, this is a dog mat. These surprisingly go for 50 to 100. The bigger ones go for closer to 100. Um, this is, I'm not sure what the size is. I'm not gonna pull it out. It's called Dirty dog doormats. I had a few of these. Um, I'm gonna say 50 bucks. That is gonna get listed with the other ones. I'm just trying to get I'm trying to get them all together so I can match them up. Oh, this is cool. This is like a target shooting uh, set. So if this is cheap enough, I might keep this for a target shooting. I got the pellets already, and I have a BB gun now, 5852. So it'd be something fun to do with the kids. We'd wear safety glasses, of course. I can hear you guys already. You'll shoot your eye out. If you guys know a movie that's from, go ahead and put it down in the comments. I'm sure you do. 16 bucks. Uh, I'm keeping that. So take that off of my salary. Oh, yeah, I've been wanting to um, look these up. I do remember seeing this battery on the list when I was doing my research. These batteries, if I remember, are like around $100. I was like, I gotta see what these things look like. I expect to be a big battery, but look how small it is. Just like a little... Now, granted, this is not... This is definitely not it. Oh, yeah, it is. So this one's been used and abused big time. But they're a completely sealed battery. And now that one I'll have to charge and see if it holds a charge. I might be able to sell it as used. 
but I had a few of these in the, within this pallet. There's like five or six of these batteries. So I'm going to go ahead and look them up now. So next time I remember what, what the value was, or at least I think I'll remember, I'll probably forget again. 2,700 is the last four. So I'm just going to quickly search that till I see 2,700. And of course it's not, oh, here we go. Check these out on eBay though. $157 average selling price for this. So those are gonna be good, assuming that they're good, you know, they're even used. I bet I could get it, you know, 80 or 90 bucks for it. This is a wheel chalk kit. These are like 25 bucks for, um, you know, strapping down to your four wheeler to your trailer. I have about five or six more items. We're almost done. Seahorse, here's a match. Another one of those cases we've already opened. Can you guys still see me? Or is the pile getting too high? I have a pile of stuff right here. It's like just off camera. I'll show you when we're done. And uh, sunshade sale. Me and my wife are actually talking about getting one of these for the deck. So I'll have to look it up. These go on Amazon, 30 bucks typically. This pump right here is insane. I was looking at this when I bought this lot and I was like, there's, there's just no way. It's like a little generic cheap pump. It just looks like a $10 item, right? I mean, look how cheap the... I would have never thought um, this is worth anything, but let's let's just look it up real quick so I can show you guys. Because I was going to say when I see this, I want to I want to make sure. Of course, it's not going to be found. I guess it helps if I type the right number in. There it is. Buffalo Tools 40 gallon pressure pump or uh, pressure washer pump. I think the thing is you can't get, they're not making it anymore, maybe. Look at that. So 40 have sold, watch how many are active. One, and look at the price, $212. Obviously they're not getting that, but I mean, that's insane how many of these have sold. So really good item, definitely eBay item for that. Uh, I would say based on the fact there's only one active and they're, they're trying to charge 200. I probably won't gouge that much. I'd say maybe 59.95. Oh, this is a trailer um, accessory. Tekansha trailer wiring kit. I had to buy parts of this for when I wired up my brake trailer, uh, my brakes for my trailer. This stuff can be pretty expensive. Uh, let's see what the retail on this one is. I'm gonna guess it's probably a hundred bucks, but I'm not sure. 7109. And once again, I just look up the last four digits on my list and try to search it real quick. It saves me from typing in the whole UPC. Uh, we're looking at 75 bucks. So it's close. 78 bucks now. Price is going up. I mean, it is for a watt Mazda CX-5, so probably not very popular. Oh, check this out, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I love, love, love getting fishing stuff. Um, for the record, I haven't kept anything yet, though I have not sold the... I got a Penn International Reel that's uh, customized, like USA. The American flag and stuff. I've, I'm going to sell it. I just haven't listed it yet. Um, that's a thousand dollar reel. So this one, the handle's been taken off and it's not wrapped like the factory would wrap it. So 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 far, I'm a little bit worried that it might be broken. Okuma is the brand. It's the Coronado, the CDX60. It looks like it's in good shape. And the handle's here. I mean, I think it's fine. I'll just have to screw it back on. And that is actually the factory wrap. I just, the way they had it bubbled up was funny. So let's look this up. I'm going to say $129.95. What do you guys think? $80.74. Okuma stuff can be pretty expensive, but they could also be affordable too. So it just depends. Typically Shimano is a little bit more. Um, $130. Sweet. That was really close on that one. Oh, it's $110 actually. So the price is going down a little bit. So when I bought this lot and I ran my list, the buy box price was 130. So that's what this program does. It'll tell you what the, what the current active buy box price, or what the sales rank is, it gives you the link. So <clears throat> uh, that's using the AMZ analyzer. I got the, my affiliate links down in the description. I love using it. I run my UPCs through the program and it spits out an Excel sheet like this. So it gives me a lot of good information. And uh, that one's definitely gonna be sold on eBay. 
I have one more item after this, guys. We got the Gear Wrench Giant. Um, uh, what do you call these? Ratchet style wrenches. They have the ratchet built into them. I have no idea how much this is worth. These are huge wrenches, though. Not really anything I would ever need. Not a very good sales rank. 800000 which is pretty slow, but they're $67. They do have two reviews. 67 bucks on Amazon. Now, my guess is that not many of them would have sold on eBay, just based on the fact that the sales rank is so high. And they kind of correlate, but not always. So I would guess maybe two to five on eBay, if any. And it's one has sold and there are, but there are no active. So I would be the only person, at least the only person that's, I always put the UPC if I have it. So um, you could search that name and probably get a few more results. Like if I did this, it's possible that I might find some more sales. Nope. So still just the one sale. I would say, yes, it's still worth listing on eBay though, even though it's just gonna be a long tail item, meaning it's gonna take, it could take up to a year to sell, but I'm fine with that. Um, uh, these are bumper amber lights for spec D tuning. 6582 is the number. We're gonna look it up real quick. Uh, Cause I don't know. I mean, I really don't wanna take them out right now. It's the last item. And they go for $27 on Amazon. So not too bad. So that was a ton of value in those two boxes, guys. Um, I'll put the total up on the on the screen here like I normally do of my estimated total resale value. It's not the actual, um, you know, what the retail is. It's what I think I can sell it for. Then you got fees to take out. There's uh, my time. There's employees. There's, you know, taking pictures, all that stuff. Uh, there's also the fact that some of this stuff will not sell for full asking. So if I said, hey, I should be able to get 100, I may end up actually taking an offer for it down the road for 80 bucks. So I get a little bit less. So great. The price that I've estimated is just what that's what it is. It's the estimated value of the items, the way they sit. Uh, it's never the amount of money you're going to get when you sell it off. So just keep that in mind. And as I said, here is the huge pile. There's my computer. This is where I'm standing here. We knocked out a whole road today. Just did two boxes with you guys. Um, some of these filters were already here, but you can see I'm kind of piling stuff as I go through it. And then I start sorting it out. After the video, I'll go through and sort this stuff out and start pricing it and checking it out. So I have my work cut out for me, but this is everything that came out of those two boxes. Just to give you an idea of uh, what it looks like on the other end. I just have you guys up on a tripod over here, kind of looking down and it's been nice working off of these big boxes here and show them what you have. In my intro video, you don't see those boxes, but they're there. So just wanted to throw that in.